Okay, here's another way to find articles. I'm going to go back to the Stern Library. The other, the, the, the first video was how to find a journal when you know what you're looking for. This is the second way to actually find an article itself, which is probably the more important one. So I'm going into electronic journals. Again, it's taken me into the login. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm going for the ERIC database. There may be some other databases that are just as good. Huh. Okay, I did that wrong. I thought I said, oh, sorry, not electronic journals, um, databases. My bad. Okay, there we go. And now I want ERIC. And the thing, I've used Eric for a long, long time. Like I said, there could be better ones, but here it is, Eric. It is an educational database. I like EBSCO. You might want to try some of the other ones. EBSCO has worked well for me for getting full text articles. And so um, I'm going to see what happens. I haven't even done this search before going to the video, but I'm going to try and find... Um, something on conceptual change in, I guess, in science scope um, to see. Sorry, it's being so slow. And we wait. And we wait. Maybe EBSCO is down. There we go. Okay, so you could just do science conceptual change and search and what that's going to do is that's going to pull from oh that worked right okay there we go See, I've got 216 articles, and in ERIC, some of these are going to be from journals, like Journals of Learning Sciences. Some of these could be from um, documents. I don't see a document right here. These are all from journal articles, but some of the, most of these are research articles. So let me do an advanced search. And it'll keep that search string, but it'll allow me to limit it by a journal. Remember, Eric pulls from a vast amount of educational media, research, all of that. It, it does really well. So I want Science Scope. Again, I apologize for this being so slow. I'm going to see if that... Okay, there we go. So it looks like there are two articles. I don't even know about that one. Maybe only one, but this is from Science Scope, July 2007, Teaching for Conceptual Change in Space Science. And I can pull down the actual PDF of that. If you notice, I don't think, because, I, because I've logged in, I don't have to actually go and find the journal. Um, it's giving me access to the journal because the database is recognizing that I'm an authorized user because of my UAB ID. There we go. There's my science, te science scope article about conceptual change, and I can download it. Hope that helps. Using Eric Searches is a great tool to find, find good educational resources.